Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the Dallas Stars New Year Report as we review the Dallas Stars season this far, who are 4-6 and six in their last 10, but suffered a really tough loss against the Blues with two um, questionable calls is the lightest way to put it. I don't need to get into that too much since this isn't a game recap. This is a New Year Report on the Dallas Stars. They are an interesting bunch um, in this season as a whole. Um, the Stars are having good goaltending from Holpe, 2, 5, 6, 9, 20. Now that Ben Bishop's had to retire, he's become the veteran presence basically for um, Jake Ottinger there, who's one of the more impressive young goaltenders in the league. And then Ottinger has a 2-2-2 two, 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 and a 9-2-3, so he's doing his thing um, as well. Uh, which would be expected from Jay Godinger, uh, that is for sure. And then we have Joe Pavelski has 30 points in 32 games. Jason Robertson, one of the best young skaters in the league, uh, has 30 points in 26 games. And then Rupe Hintz has 23 points in 30 games. Uh, Miro Heiskanen in 21 in 31. The interesting thing with this team going forward, since Klingberg did request, is what to do with John Klingberg, what they're going to do with John Klingberg, what they're going to get for John Klingberg. Because they haven't been able to come to a deal for his contract expiring after this year. So number one key factors for this team is figure out what to do with Klingberg so you can bring in assets for him that are going to help you to propel you to be a playoff team this year. And then get to that step there. Uh, that would be the first goal for them because right now they're at 36 points. Uh, to 39 points out of the wild card. They only have 32 games played, though, uh, where the Kings have 35 games played. So they got three games at hand, being only three points out of the wild card. This Sharks team, to me, uh, they still have a very good chance of being a, uh, or the Stars team, to me, excuse me, has a very good chance of being a playoff team. It's just they need to be significantly better uh, on the road. They are one of those teams that fall into the category of many of them this year, including the team they actually played yesterday in the St. Louis Blues, who's significantly better at home when they beat the Stars at home 14-3-2 uh, and two at home to 7-7-3 seven, seven, and three on the road. The Blues are, well, the Stars, their opponent, uh, they looked like they were going to get a nice win on the road, maybe a momentum-building win on the road to get their road woes kind of thrown in the rear view and kind of get going. Well, unfortunately, because of spotty ref calling and uh, not being able to close it out, the Stars were not able to do it. Mostly, I guess you would say, because of the spotty ref calling, but also you got to be able to persevere at the same time. They're 4-10-1 and one, um, on the road. That's something that has to get fixed in a snap of a finger, because if that keeps happening in that trend, because at least if you're the Avalanche, you're around 500, you, you, you're you one game above 500, you've been building up on the road, or two games above 500, 8, 6, or 1 on the road, been building up, playing better hockey overall, didn't start as squeaky clean as you won on the road, but had more games at home, so you took advantage of that, so you got that. Um, If you're the Blues, you're at least 500, that's the team that's 500 on the road, so you can build up from that. If you're the Stars, uh, you really need to start building it up because you got a 4-10-1 away record and a 13-3-1 home record. It's like the polars, the literal two polars. You're one of the best teams in the league on home ice and literally one of the worst teams in the league on road ice. The goal scoring output is ridiculously lower on road ice. Um, the defense usually isn't as good on road ice. So that's something that is one of those things that's hard to kind of pinpoint and explain why it's so bad on road ice. But the Stars' biggest key to turning around the season is get the hell going on the road. Uh, you're going to have to do that if you want to be a playoff team. And I think this team with Jake Ottinger and Nett as a great young goaltender and with the veteran Brayden Holpe having a great bounce back season and having veterans like Joe Pavelski on your team as well. You have a great defenseman in Miro Heiskin and that goes a long way. Um, you have good players in this team. I think this team, obviously Robertson, who I mentioned as well, I think this team is going to be able to have a good chance to get to the postseason. The big key for them is, one, you got to get a better scoring output as a whole, continuing if you want to be successful throughout the season. But two, you got to keep getting good defense, and that defense has to spread to not struggling at times in the road. The, D the Dallas Stars are good with Rick Bonus defensive built through the forward core and the defense team to lead to offense. 
Now, if you can be aggressive, smash mouth hockey kind of in the neutral zone, that's the best style for them to jam the neutral zone, play that smash mouth. Not necessarily the old school smash mouth where you're hitting people left and right, but just jam them and get going the other way, accelerating the other way on odd man rushes. The Stars can be a very successful team and kind of orient through their defense like they should be doing and like they are doing really 95% of the time at home. And then on the road, they just look like a completely different hockey team. So the biggest thing for this team, honestly... They look like a good hockey team to me. They just look lost at times on the road. It's figuring out whatever the heck the main issue is, because you don't know that unless if you're in the locker room or covering the team each day, what that main issue is um, for why your road issues are so big and so vast compared to some other teams that are having road issues like the Blues, for example, compared to home, but they're at least around or at the 500 mark where the Stars are damning on the road great at home. So you got to figure that out. This has been the Stars 2022 New Year Report. I think this team has a great chance to get to the playoffs led by Rick Bonus. I think he's honestly a hell of a coach that leads uh, from the defense to the offense. It's just uh, this team, for whatever reason, um, isn't coming out with enough energy and enough push, and enough fire in their bellies on the road. So that needs to change. I thought last game was on the refs for sure, so you can excuse that Blues game. They could have got more goal-scoring output, so that point still stands. But in terms of why the game was 90% blown, there was some spotty calls at the end. They probably would have got to OT if there was only one spotty call instead of two, so they would have had an extra point um, as well. But everybody have a great same pleasant day. This has been the Dallas Stars 2022 New Year Report. Please continue to subscribe down below to help us get to 195 or goal at the end of the month or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Peace out, everybody.